What you making now, Karen? I'm going to make my lasagna soup. And I'm making it from seasoning that we sell. This is our wild badass seasoning for Easy Luigi's Lasagna Soup Seasoning. And this makes three batches. I'm going to be making two batches because I'm doing it for the gang here while we're in Quartzsite. And so we'll see how they like it. But it's super easy to make one pot. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. So with a double batch, I'm going to have two pounds of ground beef, two cans of petite diced tomatoes. They don't have to be petites, I just happen to like them, and one... 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and I also have three cups of bow tie pasta you can use any kind of pasta that you like and of course I'm using our easy Luigi's lasagna soup seasoning to give it the flavor of lasagna available on our website at watsonwheels.info so the first thing I'm gonna do is brown up cook up my two pounds of ground beef and then I'm going to drain the fat that comes off of it. Okay, I've drained my beef. Now I'm going to put in eight cups of water. There's four. One batch takes four cups and I'm making two batches. So I need to put the total of eight cups in here. And then I'm going to add my two cans of diced tomatoes. And my one can of tomato sauce. There are a couple of extra ingredients you'll need later on, which includes Parmesan cheese and if you wanted to, you could use ricotta, which is an optional item. And then I'm going to put my three cups of pasta in here. And the most important part, I'm putting my wild badass lasagna seasoning in here. It's one third cup per batch. I got two batches here, so there's two thirds cup. All right. With that little container that you sell, how many batches are in that container? Three. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on medium high and get that to a boil. Once it starts to boil, then I am going to put it on simmer and simmer it for 60 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and it's now boiling. So now I'm going to keep it covered and put it on simmer for an hour. It's starting to smell good. It does, doesn't it? My soup's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to add about another tablespoon of seasoning. That's one of the things with this soup. You can add whatever you like to it. And if you want to add vegetables to it, you could. If you want to add additional seasoning to it, you can. But the kicker at the end is going to be the Parmesan cheese. It's almost done. So I made this soup actually a day in advance for our little potluck today out here in Quartzsite with a group of people. And I think soup always tastes better after it's sat for a while anyways. The noodles get bigger and they suck up some of the flavor and whatnot. So here's what it looks like the next day. And I'm just reheating it. And here comes the good part. Put in a couple of spoonfuls. Parmesan cheese. It really adds a lot to the flavor. I'm going to serve this with my biscuit bites made out of the lasagna soup mix as well and we'll find out how they like it. Recipe is in the description below for both. What you making now Karen? I'm gonna make my super easy easy Luigi's lasagna soup biscuit bites. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> yep, they're biscuits 
in a little mini muffin pans, and they're just bite-sized, and they're so easy to make. No yeast needed, no waiting for anything to rise, quick, easy to make. This is going to make 24 mini muffin biscuits. You can make a variety of different kind of biscuits out of it. My ingredients are one cup of self-rising flour. If you don't have self-rising flour, just use regular all-purpose flour and add a half a tablespoon of baking powder. I have a half a cup of milk, three tablespoons of melted butter, a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, two tablespoons of mayo, I got one teaspoon of sugar, and then I'm going to use one tablespoon of Easy Luigi's Lasagna Soup Seasoning. Makes great soup, but it makes great biscuits as well. You can buy this on our website at watsonwheels.info. So, awesome stuff here. Super easy. Got my flour in here. Add my milk. Add my butter. In the meantime, geez, I have my oven heating up to 450 degrees. My mayonnaise. Not Miracle Whip. Got to be mayonnaise. Got a little more butter in there. My teaspoon of sugar. And then the magic. With my one tablespoon of Easy Luigi's Lasagna seasoning. Now all I got to do is mix it up. Don't need any fancy KitchenAid type of mixer. That's it. You don't have to cover it or anything and let it rise. This is it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick spray down on my mini muffin pan. And then I'm just going to start taking little dollops of it. I'm going to roll it in a little ball. You don't have to roll it in a little ball. I like to do that because if you don't, it gets that little uneven biscuity type top to it, which is great, but it has a tendency to want to just fall apart. This way, they don't fall apart nearly as much. The other thing you can do with this recipe is just take a spoon and do dollops of it on um, a regular cookie sheet and you can just have drop biscuits then. So now I'm going to put this in the oven at 450 degrees. These are probably take in a regular oven that works well <laughs> about 12 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. If they're golden brown, take them out. They'll be done. Alrighty, here they are. Now, something else I usually like to do after I take them out is just brush a little melted butter over them. I'm going to be putting the recipe in the description below along with a one pot lasagna soup recipe using our seasonings. Here's the easy part. You can just kind of give them a little twist. Get them out of the muffin pan. So just little bite-sized biscuits. And there you have them. Want to try one, Dave? Sure. Go for it. Oh, those are tasty. You like? Mm-hmm. See the inside. Is it nice and soft? It is. Here, you taste. Okay. Since this is a new recipe, I gotta try it too. Mmm. Soft. That seasoning's good in there. It's not doesn't have that flowery, doughy taste. That's good. These are good guys. How's the soup? Good soup. You like? Good soup. Oh, did you get any little biscuits? 
biscuits. Oh, you missed the biscuits. Missed the biscuits. The biscuit bites, yeah. No biscuits. That's a hard note. How do you like it? No biscuits. Good. Glad you like it. What do you guys think of the soup? I think it is awesome. I think everything. You all like it? Yes. How about you guys over here? You like the soup? I haven't tried it yet. Thank good day for soup, though. It is. Thank you. Very much Cold in the desert. Can you believe it? Try it. It ain't always that way. How do you guys like the biscuit bites? Yeah. Yeah, they suck. I mean, they're good. <laughs> hey, sit down. Shut up. Thumbs up on the soup and the little biscuit bites. Double thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.